Well, look what just landed on our doorstep. Actually, it didn't. It went to a friend's house, but we picked it up just last night. Thanks to Dwayne and Geraldine for taking our mail. It's the biggest trouble with our being full time. You've got nowhere to send mail. This is Set Power RV60D Pro. What is that? It's a fridge freezer. So we've been dreaming about one of these for a long time because our refrigeration on the boat is a little lacking. We've got a freezer, but it's a little small. It's about this big. And when you catch a big mahi mahi, where are you gonna put it? So we've been wanting a portable freezer fridge combination for a while. I think this is the answer. Let's open it up and check it out. I've not seen one in real life, so this is really cool. All right. Now, I don't know a lot about this product, so I'm gonna be learning it with you guys. I'm gonna give you a whole rundown of what it looks like. We're gonna plug it in. We're gonna have a barbecue this afternoon. We're gonna have some cold beers. So let's uh, try and get this running. Now this is a portable unit, so it comes with a handle. So the weight of it is 48 pounds which is a bit hard to carry, and that's empty weight, but it's got a handle and wheels that you can tow it around, but they're removable so that you can store it permanently somewhere if that's what you're looking for. All right. So it's not that heavy. All right, this is a neat looking product. I remember the fridges that we were looking at two years back on the boat, we're over a thousand bucks easily for this size. This one is 12 volt. It is 120 volt, so it's two way. And it's two compartments with a removable and a movable compartment divider so that you can split it up between fridge and freezer, any ratio that you want. Now this set power unit, this is a 60 quart, which is about 56 liters is uh, under 500 bucks. Now, the lid is reversible for some reason. If you mount it permanently somewhere, you need it to open the other way, you can just reverse this lid. Look at this handle. The wheels are not yet installed. I haven't put them on, but you can imagine, easy to transport around, eh? So what comes inside it's another little present. It feels like Christmas. Here are the wheels. Wheels in foam. Wow, that's nice. Actually, they're, they're rubber. They're not just plastic. Sort of rubber on top of plastic. That's nice. I'll have them installed later on and we'll show you how it rolls. One more. Present, I'm guessing this is uh, cables and axle by the sound of it. So there's a little bit of work to be done here, setting up handles. We've got the power cables there, uh, some tools. Looks like part of the handle mechanism. Got a 12 volt power supply and the 120 volt power supply. Let's start with the manual. Just like uh, all men, we read the instructions first. That's correct, isn't it? Yep. Easy to understand instructions, plenty of diagrams, and perfect English. Nice manual. In fact, because there's many variations of configuration that you can choose from. Like you can have the feet, only or you can have the wheels and the handle and I'm going to go through that right now and install the wheels so we can roll it away into the back of the RV. All right. So my first step in assembly was to put this 
wheel axle on, which is the first part in the uh, in the book. Not quite as straightforward as I would expected. The instructions not as clear as I'd hoped. So it shows a sort of red ring around these two nuts. Oh, sorry, bolt holes. But in fact, they had screws inside them. And I'm thinking, whoa, is that holding down the compressor? Or, you know, so anyway, to screw in the bottom of the frame, I removed those two nuts and replaced them with uh, the two long finger tight nuts here, uh, bolts I should say. The first mystery, and it is resolved, but yeah, not quite explained in the manual. But that's all right, time for the wheels to go on now. Remember, this is a fridge, and it's full of gas, and the gas needs to be settled in its circulation system. You must keep this upright, Certainly in operation, of course, keep it upright, or, you know, very small angles of tilt would be okay. But the manual says you need to have this upright for 24 hours before you turn it on, so just to make sure that gas is settled. Otherwise, you're going to end up with pockets of, of uh, vapor, I guess. I don't know. You fridge guys out there should be able to understand it better. But the point is, got to keep it upright. So while I was trying to put this on, I had to elevate the fridge on a chair and then I crawled upside down to install it because you, you really got to keep it upright because I plan to turn it on in a, just a few moments time. There we go. There we go. No problem. <laughs> and that's a lock nut. So where's my spanner? They even give you a spanner. That's nice. <laughs> oh. That's it. Yep. That's nice. Well, they're good, they don't rattle or anything, that's nice. Yeah. Nice wheels. Well, the last base component of these two feet. And they just screw in, there's no screws in the way here. All right, let's look at all the leftover bits. This is another spring-loaded handle. If you did not have the towing handle, you can put another one of them on the other side. So that's nice, it's an option. Electrical supply is all that's remaining, apart from this thing, I don't know what that is. So I've discovered something which is a little unexpected. First of all, it is 12 volt, it is 24 volt, it is 110 volt, it is 240 volt. You would plug this into your 120 volt outlet this goes into the converter, and there, my God. All right, so I've had a little bit of a surprise with the way they power this electrically. The input to the unit is DC only. So they give you an AC to DC converter. Some fridges, this may be on the inside, yeah, but uh, on this one, it's on the outside. So here you have your wall socket, goes to, your AC DC converter, then you plug in your cigarette lighter and then plug it into the machine. So this can accept 12 volt directly, cigarette lighter. It can also do 24 volt directly through the cigarette lighter. And this converter has an input range of 100 to 240 volts. So you can use this, 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 this for 120 volt systems or 240 volt systems. So it's got every voltage covered, basically. So that's pretty cool. Just a little bit messy, I guess. Now, some more expensive units probably have this all on the inside, you know. Overall quality, now that I'm thinking about it, it's a little bit lower quality version, but you're paying half the price, at least half the price. You find a 60 quart fridge, freezer combination for less than 500 bucks. I've never seen one, but here's one. <laughs> so the proof will be in the pudding. Yeah, we'll, we'll uh, spark this up, plug it in, and uh, let's make it cold. This ain't hard work at all. This is nice. It's 
It's got some really nice features actually. That uh, four different power supplies that you can use to power this thing. Let's have a look on the inside. So this is 60 quarts or about 56 liters. And here is the removable, or sorry, movable compartment. So this would be the freezer side with the secured in basket. If you want a bigger freezer, make it all a freezer. Not sure how efficient that's going to be. That would be a good test. Normally this would be freezer and this would be where you keep your beers. So overall, impressions. The quality is not the highest, but for the price point, 500 bucks, that's a lot of value for 500 bucks. But the important point from my point of view anyway, is that the manufacturer has faith in their product. They offer a three year warranty on the compressor. That's pretty impressive. And a one year warranty on everything else. But really there's not much else that can go wrong with a fridge. Well, I think it's time that we plug it in. See what it looks like, yeah? All right, so here's, here's the daisy chain of power cables really, which is a little bit unglamorous, I guess you would say. Let's plug her in. All right, this looks like freezer. This looks like refrigerator. So they're now set. I guess that's the temperature that they are right now. I just felt the compressor turn on. You can feel the fan blowing. So we want to set, what do you think for fridge? The freezer. The freezer should be, say 25 degrees Fahrenheit. Yeah, that's below zero Celsius. And the fridge, wow. Start with 40. So let's give it a couple of hours, see how it feels. We should put something in it. In fact, the instructions say for ideal efficiency to cool it down is to put cold food in it first. And that's an old trick, you know, same with boat fridges. An empty fridge is hard work to keep it cold. But if you fill it up, especially with cold stuff, it'll come down much faster. So I'll go and get some beers. <laughs>